Can y'all hear me okay? Yes, we can. All right, put my head down there. Right? No. Okay. I'm just going to open up in prayer real quick. If y'all would just bear with me. Really. Praise God. Amen. Oh, Father God, we thank you, Lord, in hallelujah. the name of Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. For this day, Father God, we thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Use me, Father God, to bring this word forth. Thank you, Father God, for allowing us to get knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from your word on today, Father yes, God. Lord. Lift burdens, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for each and every one that is here on today, Father God. And Lord, as we get this word, Father God, help it to saturate us, Father, in the name Amen. of Jesus, Amen. Lord, Amen. so that we will get knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from it, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Father God, for using me in a mighty way today, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You all may be seated. Um. So the title for today is Trust Issues. That is our title for today, Trust Issues. Um, trust Issues. We all got some trust issues, right? We all got some trust issues. And why do we have trust issues, may I ask? <laughs> You know, we have trust issues because, you know, people in this world world have lied to us. They've betrayed us. You know, but as I look back and I think about my relationship with God, God has never lied to me. God has Amen. never betrayed me. Um, even as I look back over my own life or even uh, people in the Bible, you know, um, God has never given me a reason to not trust him. Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes um, we think, oh, well, God, why did you allow this to happen to me? Or, you know, why did, why did this happen to me? Well, no, sometimes it is because of choices that we've made without consulting God. No doubt. Um, <clears throat> instead of consulting God first, we just react. And sometimes that is how it is in our life. Things happen, and instead of stepping back and consulting God and talking to him about the way that we should go, we just react, right? <clears throat> and, you know, sometimes we get off track because of that, and sometimes we do make bad choices. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes <laughs> sometimes we make bad choices yeah um, so trust issues you know when I was thinking about this um, and the Lord had given this message to me um, it made me think of you know when you were younger and you all used to play that trust game with your friends yeah, yeah, yeah. and how you would fall back yeah. and they would catch you yeah um, well, you know, some of us are like, I don't trust nobody. <laughs> Amen. Not near a person no. to stand behind me and allow me to fall back and catch them and, and them catch me. Um, but, you know, I, I do trust God. Amen. I do trust God that way. You know, and even, even as, you know, a spouse, you know, um, there is that part of us where, yeah, we trust our spouse. We believe in them, you know? But sometimes when you're going through something and, you know, when there's that storm that's coming, you know, your spouse sometimes doesn't know how to comfort you. You know, and, and the way you get that comfort and peace is through God. Amen. You know, that's Amen. because God understands you and he knows you more than your spouse does, your mm -hmm. friends, your family, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, it's just that relationship that we should have with God where without a shadow of a doubt, we Amen. trust him. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Excuse me. And this week has been a little stormy for myself and my husband, actually. Um, we had to put our dog to sleep this week. And it was very tough. It was a very tough situation. Uh, very sad. 
sad. And then also today is the six year anniversary of my mom passing away. You know, and, and sometimes we, uh, we are emotional people. You know, God has made us with emotions and feelings, and that's just the way it is, right? That's right. You know, but how do we deal with those things? How do we deal with those storms of life? You know, are you going to trust in God, or are you going to trust in what you see? Are you going to trust in what's going on around you instead of what God has laid out before you, right? All right. So this week has really been tough for me. It's been it's been pretty hard. And I've really had to, you know, even me and my husband, you know, at some point this week, we couldn't even console each other. You know? Um, when we had to take my our dog to the vet, you know, it was a quiet ride home for sure. It, we didn't say words to each other at all, you know. And at those times, we really have to lean into God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but people don't, people don't really like to do that because they feel weak. Or they feel like, you know, I don't need to depend on anybody else except myself. You know, my grandmama, my mom, you know. <laughs> but they can't do for you what God can. Amen. 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 And so that's Amen. why it's important <clears throat> that we trust in God, you know? And sometimes, you know, it's just not enough. You know, when you're trying to console somebody that you love, only God can comfort you and give you peace yeah. where yeah. you can't even understand, yeah. you know, like the storm that you're going through and you're like, I'm okay. I'm going to, it's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know? There is light at the end of the tunnel. Amen. Right? Amen. <clears throat> you know, so we have to stop looking at going, what's going on around us and focus on God. Amen. Trust in Him. You know, that's where the devil wants you. He wants you to focus on every single thing that you're, that you're going through. He wants you to look at all of those things and focus on those and get you off track. That's exactly what he wants you to do. And, and sometimes we allow those obstacles to get put in front of us, you know? <clears throat> sometimes we allow um, things to distract us, yeah. I guess I could say. Yeah. <laughs> so you won't hear the word of God or, you know, be in the place to hear the word of God, right? You know, sometimes we get... A, a paper cut, and that's an excuse for us uh, to. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, I'm gonna throw in the towel. I ain't going to church today. Uh, yeah, uh, no, uh, no, I ain't going to church today. Yeah. Or sometimes, um, you know, sometimes we get in an argument with somebody, get in an argument with our spouse, or get in an argument with somebody in our family, and be like, you know what? I just need to take a minute. You know, I need to be with myself. You know, I'm going to stay at home today. I ain't going to go to church today. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what, I'm going to be here with bells on. I don't care if me and him are fighting or not. We're going to be in this car in silence. <laughs> I'm going to church. So. <laughs> it's going to be a quiet, we're going to listen to the music. Is what gonna uh, or we may even take two separate cars. If we show up in two separate cars, y'all probably know we've been arguing. <laughs> but we're going to be here. You better believe it, because I'm not missing out. Amen. Because let me tell you what, this is where you get your fuel. Amen. This is where Amen. you get your fuel for the week. Amen. You know, people wonder why. Why am I struggling? Why, you know, why, why am I going through these things? Why are these things bothering me so much? It's because you're not getting it in you. To be able to get through those things. You're out of gas. You're out of gas. You're out of gas. That's it. Right. You are out of gas. You're not getting those, you're not getting the word of God in you to be able to fight those things that the devil is throwing at you. Amen. 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 I don't hear no amen. 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 I got it. I got <laughs> you it. got me? I got okay. It. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, we have to stop putting God on the back burner. Right. 
That's you right. got to stop putting God on the back burner and being an afterthought. Mm -hmm. See, because you know what? I trust God wholeheartedly. Yeah. And going through this study and this message for today has really put into perspective Amen. a lot of things. And if y'all missed Sunday school this morning, I'll tell you, Jelana said something this morning um, when we were in Sunday school, and she said, trusting what you know. Mm -hmm. Trusting in what you know. Yeah, just because you know God doesn't mean anything. But trusting in what that Bible says about you, and who you are and what you've got in him and those benefits, mm -hmm. that's Amen. insurance to me. Yeah. Amen. 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 I don't know what y'all I don't know what y'all think. Yeah. <laughs> but that's insurance to me. My claim is insurance. Right. That's a warranty. Amen. Amen. A warranty Amen. deed, right? Amen. I mean, but you have to trust in what you know. And that's why it's important that you're here. Mm -hmm. So you get that knowledge. Mm -hmm. So you get the wisdom. So we can ask questions. Yeah. Right? Amen. Amen. Because I can't, I mean, we're online right now, but I can't hear anything those people are saying. Nope. Not a word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have to get into the place. Amen. 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 Get the fuel that you need to get through that week. Amen. That day. Those couple of days. Amen. 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 Because you know what? Some of us have lost track. And that relationship with God mm. has been put on the back burner. Mm. And you've forgotten what his voice sounds like. Mm -hmm. Oh, and oh. he's he's probably questioning, well, who are you? I ain't seen you in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I said saint. Yeah, it's probably not a word. But it's not a word. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> it is. S E N S E E N apostrophe T. That's not It is a You know. It is, and it's like really talking to your spouse or your family. You nourish those relationships. Why aren't you nourishing that right. that God relationship? That's right. That's right. Because that one's first. Because when this is right, mm -hmm. everything else falls into place. Amen. Even people's Amen. attitude. Amen. 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 So trust in God. Amen. Okay, we're gonna get into a little bit of word right now. Y'all ready? Amen. 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 This is going to be fast and furious. Second uh -oh. uh -oh. Corinthians 5 and 7. I'm going to have to put this over here. Second Corinthians 5 and 7. And I'm going to be reading a couple of versions of these. So you all just bear with me, please. Bear Amen. with me. Amen. Amen. Um. Why I like this app. I have I can pull it three at a time. Three at a time. Okay, so 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. I am going to read the Amplified Version first, I believe. And then I'm going to go into the NLT and the Message Version. So you all just bear with me because with the Message Version, I'm going to have to read a little bit more because of how it lays it out. So 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 says, for we walk by faith, not by sight, living our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. Amen. Amen. The NLT says, for we live by believing, not by seeing. Amen. Amen. And the message, I'm going to have to go to six, and I'm going to read a little bit through eight, I believe. Amen. Amen. It says that's why we live with such good cheer. You won't see us drooping our heads or dragging our feet. Cramped conditions here don't get us down. They only remind us of the spacious living conditions ahead. It's what we trust in but don't yet see that keeps us going. Do you suppose a few ruts in the road or rocks in the path are going to stop us? 
Well, it does. It does. Because sometimes a little crack in the road and we're out. We throw in the towel. First thing that goes is our relationship with God. Amen or ouch. First thing that goes is our trust in God and what he says about you in this word. We said that earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Trusting what you know. I bet if you all read the news, listen to the news, y'all believe everything on there. <laughs> but y'all will not believe the word of God. Come on now. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Mm -hmm. it's right, but it's right. Mm -hmm. Trusting what you know, right? Trusting what you know. Mm -hmm. But sometimes a little uh, rut in the road or a rock in the road throws us off track <clears throat> because we want everything to be perfect. We want everything to line up. Well, it's not always going to line up. But when this relationship is good, it can be as amazing as you can imagine. Yeah. Amen? Amen. 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 I don't, I don't truly believe y'all, but okay. <laughs> trust issues, girl. Trust issues, y'all got trust issues. Don't worry, I won't ask y'all to fall back. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> and we, but we have to stop, you know, looking like this says. Like this says in, um, for we walk by faith, not by sight. When you trust and believe in what it in what God says and not what it looks like, that's the that's the biggest part right there. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest obstacle. It is. Right? Yep. Walk by faith and not by sight. We need to put those blinders on like they have on those horses. Yes. Because y'all yes. y'all are getting distracted. Mm -hmm. You're getting distracted by all kinds of other stuff, right? Trust in what God says about you. Amen. Trust in what he has laid out for you. Amen? Amen. Amen. God wants you back. Amen. God wants you back. Amen. 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 You know, once you have, have accepted him as your Lord and Savior, you are his. Savior means rescuer. Redeemer, liberator, deliverer, protector. Amen. Meaning, I don't have any problems. Those are God's problems. Mm -hmm. The way he set up my body, the way he set up my life, I can't take care of those problems on my own. Right. But we try to take care of those problems on our own. Mm -hmm. But he's already worked it out for us. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen? Stop looking at the situation and allowing those situations to dictate your trust and belief in him and what he has already done. Amen. 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 I don't believe y'all, but okay. Y'all, some of y'all's faces out there, y'all been sucking on lemons. That's all right, though. <laughs> and, you know, we are going to go through things. We are, you know, even everybody thinks, Oh, well, Pastor First Lady don't ever go through nothing. Please. We go through some things. We go through some things. Trust me. We get hurt. Our emotions get the best of us sometimes. But God comforts and protects us. Amen. And he can do that same thing for you. Amen. We are no better, no different than anybody else. Right? Exactly. Exactly. You know, when we think, um, oh, I'm trying to get ahead of myself. Hold on. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you get up here, you just get excited. Because mm. you're like, oh, my gosh. Look what the Lord has said. Look what he said. Look what he said. Look what he said. Right? So once you have accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, do you know who you really are? Amen. So let's go to Ephesians. Ephesians 2. Hopefully, I have the right version in here. Ephesians 2. Mm -hmm. 
and verse 10. And I'm going to read NLT and Amplify. Amen? Amen. Ephesians 2 and 10. Amen? Amen. So when you think about putting God on the back burner, this is what you need to read. Okay? Mm -hmm. When you think about not putting him first, he puts you first. Yeah. Amen? Come on now. So on Ephesians now. 2 and 10, uh -huh. I'm going to read the Amplified first. And it says, For we are his workmanship, mm -hmm. his own master work, a work of art, created in Christ Jesus, reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, ready to be used. Yeah. For good works which God prepared for us beforehand, taking paths which he set, so that we would walk oh. in them, living the good life, Amen. Amen. which he prearranged Amen. and made ready for us. Prearranged. Amen. Amen. And then the NLT version says, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the things he planned for us long ago. Amen. Amen. So you can't tell me nothing, because let me tell you, when God made me, he broke the mold. Amen. Ain't nobody else out there like me. <laughs> Ain't nobody else out there like you. We are all special. Amen. 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 To God, we are all special. And I know he broke the mold. And let me tell you, me and my husband were watching this movie the other day. And um, they had this art on the wall, and they were talking about this art on the wall. And it looked like a two-year-old went up there and just went like this and went like this. And it, it just looked like it was a hot mess. And sometimes that may be how we feel about ourselves, that we are a hot mess. But you are still God's masterpiece. Amen. 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 No matter what you may be going through, no matter what that storm is trying to do to you, trust in God. Amen. Trust in what he says about you. Amen. 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 Trust in what he says about you. Even if that, even if, you know, because some of this art is worth millions and millions of dollars out here. And I'm like, that doesn't look like it's worth a million dollars. But to you, you are just as expensive mm -hmm. and important to God. Amen. Amen. And that's what we need to remember. Amen. 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 So let's go to Psalms 139. Psalms 139. Psalms 139. And I'm going to do the NLT and the Amplified. So y'all just bear with me. Y'all know me. I like to get deep down in because we need to get an understanding. Amen. Amen. Because y'all need to know who y'all are and whose y'all are. Amen. And um, I'm accountable for doing that. And I like to sleep at night. So I don't want God to hold nothing over my head. So Psalms 139 and we are going to start at verse 13. I'm going to read NLT, and I'm going to read the Amplified, and I'm going to read NLT first. Amen? Mm -hmm. And we are going to read to 18, I believe. 13 to 18. Psalms 139, 13 through 18, NLT. It says, You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion. As I was woven together in the dark of the womb, you saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. Yeah. And when I wake up, you are still with me. Yeah. Amen. 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 So let me read the Amplified. It says, For you formed my innermost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will give thanks and praise to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Y'all need to write that down, circle it, highlight it, whatever you got to do. Amen? 
Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being formed in secret, and intricately and skillfully formed, as if embroidered with many colors in the depths of the earth. Your eyes have seen my unformed substance, and in your book were all written the days that were appointed for me, when as yet there was not one of them even taking shape. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God. How vast is the sum of them. If I could count them, they would outnumber the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Amen. Amen. So God thinks great things about you. Yeah. And he has such great plans for you. Right. And just like it says in verse uh, 14, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. And you know, I, I just... Uh, Sometimes I can't even fathom how God put our bodies together. And what, I mean, you get a cut and it heals, right? Our body was meant to do that. And that's why we need to trust in God with every aspect of our life. Amen. Because he has fearfully and wonderfully made us. Amen. Amen. Why do, and, and you know what I don't understand is why we have issues trusting him wholeheartedly. You know, because I know that with him, I'm safe. With him, with God, he's not going to steer me in the wrong direction. Amen. 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 Because of how he feels about me and these great thoughts that he has about me. Right. Amen. 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 Um, Technical difficulty. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So de being dependent on him and because of how he feels about us. You know, sometimes in this life, family, friends, we hurt each other's feelings, our, our mm -hmm. parents, our grandparents, our brother and sister. You know, and what we need to realize is, is God wants us dependent on him. Right. Not your money, not your house, not your car, mm -hmm. not your mom and dad, not your grandparents, you know. We put all these things ahead of God, thinking that that's what gets us through when the when your trust in God is what gets you through. Amen. 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 Your trust in God. And let me tell you, in God's eyes, we are queens and kings. That's right. Amen. That's right. Royalty. That's right. Right? right. That's who he made us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's who he made us. Amen. And and let me tell you, um, my son has a has a dog. Her name is Aqua. And uh, every every time she like she always um, she does this thing where she droops her head. And um, my husband always says, and every time my husband says this to her, I just giggle. Because this is how God thinks of us, right? And he always tells her, Aqua, pick your head up, girl. You're a princess. <laughs> and I laugh because that's what God says to us. Pick your head up. You're a princess. Pick your head up. You're a king or queen. Pick your head up. Yeah, this crown that I may have on my head may have a few cracks here and there. But you know what? That's just to remind me of where I've come from. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that God Amen. is still there. And I can still trust in him. Amen. 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 So when things get you down and things start seeming like it's not working out, keep trusting in God. Pick your head up. That's right. That's right. Because you are a king or queen. Amen. Yes, your crown may have some cracks in it too. But it's okay. Amen. It's all right. It's all right, right? It's Amen. all right. <clears throat> trust him with your whole heart. And you know what? What do you have to lose by trusting him? Exactly. What do you have to lose? I dare you to try it. Mm -hmm. Come on. And you know what? You need to remind God of his word. God, you said I'm your masterpiece. Mm -hmm. You said I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. 
this sickness that's trying to come on my body, Lord, you have made my body to be healed. That's By right. Jesus Christ, I'm Amen. healed. Amen. 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 I am your child. That's, right. That's how you trust in him. Right. Bring his word to his remembrance. That's right. Amen. 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 What do you have to lose by trusting in him? Absolutely nothing. You have everything to gain. Amen. 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 I'm, I'm so excited. I know I skipped over a oh, scripture. <laughs> First John 3. <laughs> First John 3. First John 3. And I'm going to read the Amplified and the Message. First John. First John and three. Um, okay, so I'm going to start at one. Um, and I think I'm only going to read verse one. technical difficulties here, Okay, so I'm going to read the Amplified and the Message. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen? And the Amplified says, See what incredible quality of love the Father has shown to us that we would be permitted to be named and called and counted the children of God. Mm -hmm. And so we are. For this reason, the world does not know us because it did not know him. Mm -hmm. And the message version says, what marvelous love the Father has extended to us. Just look at it. We're called children of God. That's who we really are. But that's also why the world doesn't recognize us or take us seriously. Because it has no idea who he is or what he's up to. And that's what you need to remember. When you're going through those things, don't let people around you discourage you and try to tell you how it's going to be. Amen? Amen? Because it says right here, and so we are. For this reason, the world does not know us. And that's what you need to say. You don't know me. You don't know who my God is. You don't know what he's done for me. Right? And you can say it just like that. Use your finger. <laughs> don't let them tell you who you are. Amen? Amen. Amen. And you know what? Sometimes things don't make sense to us. Sometimes things don't look the way that we think they should. But that's okay, because it's not meant for it to make sense to you. Amen. I don't understand how planes can fly in the air, but they do. <laughs> not for me to understand, okay? Not for me to understand. It's not my job, right? It's not my job. I don't understand how a huge boat floats on the water when some things sink. I sink. It doesn't make sense, but it's not for us to understand, Okay? And that's the problem. We try to have control and we try to understand everything. No. You don't got to understand it. No. No. Don't try to understand it. It's simple. Just go with it. Say, so, you know what? I know, I know this was God because it didn't even make sense how all that happened. Right, right. You know, we've all been there before because you're like, holy moly, what in the world? You know, it just blows your mind the things that God has done. Amen? Amen. 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 And, you know, I recently had a, a study that I did a couple of months ago, I think it was, and we were talking about our relationship with God and being intimate with him. Mm -hmm. And you know, when, when we talk about intimacy, everybody automatically thinks about sex, <laughs> you know? And I wanted to just touch on this a little bit um, too because sometimes we tend to shy away from that word intimacy because we only think it's about sex. Mm -hmm. That's what young people think anyways. Um, but that's not it. We need to get into that relationship with God and be intimate with him and really commune with him. That's right. Really, you know, let our hair down, so to speak. Mm 
and really get into conversation with him because it is like a marriage, you know, yeah. when you think about it, mm -hmm. because we need that intimate time with him so that we know who he is right. and he knows who we are. Amen. 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 That's how you talk to him. That's how you pray. That's how you tell him, you know, Lord, this is what I, you know, and, and we were saying this morning too, um, I have a long list on my war board too. And I'm like, Lord, I know that these things you're going to bless us with. And some of those things I've even been able to mark off. Amen. And it feels so good. It's, so it's good. like, you should see my desk. I still have sticky notes everywhere. But it's like you're able to grab that one sticky note and throw it away because you've been blessed with that. Done, 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 done right? Done. It's done. Good. Good. And but that that's what I encourage you to do. Get intimate with God. Get in that time with him so that you know who he is. Mm -hmm. So that you know what this word says about you. That's right. And so that you know his voice and he knows your voice. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 I don't know, because y'all are y'all are You're writing. looking at me. Okay. <laughs> so let's go to Luke one. This is one of my favorite scriptures. Luke 1. This is one of my favorite scriptures. Um, let me see here. Hold on just a second. I think I'm going to read the Amplified, and I may read another version. Bear with me. Um, I'm going to read the Amplified first, and I'm going to read the NLT as well, I believe. Amplified and the NLT. Luke 1, and we're going to go to 37. Luke 1 and 37. going to read the Amplified. Amen. Luke 1 and 37 in the Amplified, it says, For with God, nothing is or ever shall be impossible. Amen. Amen. Nothing. <laughs> and that's the thing. We need to stop limiting ourselves. Because when you speak negative, there's nothing negative about God. That's right. Never, that's right. ever negative. Amen. It's always positive. Yep. Amen. So we need to stop limiting ourselves with what we can see and look with your spiritual eyes. Mm -hmm. Say, you know what, God? I trust you with my life. Amen. And what you say in this Bible about me is true. I know it. I'm fearfully and wonderfully mm -hmm. made. You have great plans for me. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Stop limiting yourself and downsizing what God can do for you. We're all supersized, right? right? I know y'all been to McDonald's and y'all like to supersize. I wish Chick Fil A would supersize. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a whole other problem. But God loves to supersize it in your life, but you're limiting Him by what you're speaking, by what you're thinking, by who you're listening to, by all that negativity. He wants to supersize it for you. God has never failed me. People, people will fail you. But that's okay. That's their human nature, right? Mm -hmm. You know, God has never failed me. My family's failed me. Um, my job has failed me. Things fail you. But God will never Amen. fail you. Amen. Amen. Ever. Ever, ever. Amen. Ever, ever. ever fail you. <clears throat> you know, when things happen in our life, we immediately try to jump to that. Oh, well, it's God's fault I didn't get that job or, you know, it's God's fault I didn't get that car. I had the money. You know, but there's this country song that uh, says, um, thank God for the almost 
<laughs> you know, God is protecting you mm -hmm. every day from those almost, mm -hmm. from bad choices. Exactly. He sure is. He sure is from bad choices. Amen. 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 Thank God. You know, because you don't know. You could have gotten that new job and they could have laid you off two months later. You could have got in that car and something was wrong with it that they didn't catch and it could have broke down and left you on the side of the road. You just don't know. Trust God. Trust Him. Amen? Amen. Trust Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's go to Proverbs 3. My whole Bible thing shut down. Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3. My goodness. We got a couple more scriptures to go. Proverbs 3, and we're going to start at verse 5. And I'm going to read the Amplified and the Message Version, please. Um, Proverbs 3, 5, 6, and Proverbs 3, 5 through 7. And I'm going to read the Amplified first. Amen. Amen. Trust in and rely confidently on the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight or understanding. When you try to do that, think about the plane situation we just talked about. <laughs> in all your ways, know and acknowledge and recognize him and he will make your path straight and smooth, removing obstacles that block your way. Don't try to remove the obstacles on your own. What are you trying to do? You're trying to do everything. Stop. Stop doing that. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord. That means reverence or respect. Amen. With reverent awe and obedience and turn entirely away from evil. It will be health to your body, your marrow, your nerves, your sinews, your muscles, all your inner parts and refreshment, physical well-being to your bones. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to read the message version. Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Listen for God's voice in everything you do, everywhere you go. He's the one who will keep you on track. Don't assume that you know it all. You don't know it all. Stop thinking you know it all. I know, I know we all try to be the know-it-all, right? We all try to be that one. Run to God. Run from evil. Your body will glow with health. Your very bones will vibrate with life. Honor God with everything you own. Give him the first and best. I think I went too far on that one. But amen, amen. Don't assume you know it all. That's right. You don't, you don't understand. You don't have the wisdom that God has. We ask for that kind of wisdom. Mm -hmm. But when you try to understand what God's trying to do in your life and you want to figure it out and write out a plan, no, no, it's not for you to do that. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> our simple minds, we can't wrap our heads around what God's trying to do. And when you try to figure it out and do it on your own and try to, you know, make this happen or make that happen, all you're doing is delaying the blessing that God is, is blessing you with. You know, but we like to rely on our own understanding. We're Some of us are, are those type that have to be in control of it and have to understand every single thing that's going on and happening, right? You don't got to do that. You don't got to do that. We need to stop looking with our spiritual, start, stop looking with our physical eyes and start looking with our spiritual eyes. Amen? Amen. 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 And I don't know about y'all, but, you know, like I was saying about the plane flying and all of that, you know, God has made so many amazing and wonderful things on this planet. 
and I don't understand or begin to know how they work, like our bodies. So you have a heart, it pumps blood, it makes us live and we breathe oxygen. Crazy, right? Who would have thought that this is how we live? I don't understand it and I don't need to understand it. I know I need oxygen. It's all that matters, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You have to must. I can't even begin to understand how our bodies even work sometimes. So let's go to our last scripture here. Um, Psalms 37. This is going to be our last scripture here. Psalms 37 and 3. Psalms 37 and 3. And I think I was going to read a couple of versions of this, but we're going to see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Psalms 37, 3 through 6. Amen. 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 The Amplified says, trust, rely on, and have confidence in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed securely on his faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your hearts. The desires and petitions of your hearts. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him also, and he will do it. He will make your righteousness, your pursuit of right standing with God like the light, and your judgment like the shining of the new day. Amen? Amen. I'm reading through seven, through six. I'm sorry. Um, and then the NLT version. No, I think I want to go to the message first. The message version says, Get insurance with God <laughs> and do a good deed. Settle down and stick to your last. Keep company with God. Get in on the best. Let me tell y'all what. Y'all are missing out on the best, on the best because you aren't here in the place. Amen? Amen. Amen. Open up before God. Keep nothing back. That's that intimate relationship. That's right. That's right. Keep nothing back. He'll do whatever needs to be done. He'll validate your life in the clear light of day. So all those haters out there, <laughs> let them hate. Let them hate. <laughs> and stamp you with approval at high noon. Amen. 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 Get insurance with God. I don't know about y'all, but insurance means coverage, protection, guarantee. Amen. I can trust in that. Amen? Amen? Trust, rely on, and have confidence in the Lord. It goes back to you not trusting in yourself. We need God. Keep company with God. Keep that relationship with Him. Amen? Amen. Some of us don't even take the time to talk to God. So in verse 5 of the Amplified Version, in verse 5 of the Amplified Version, it says two things. <clears throat> Commit your way to the Lord mm -hmm. and trust in Him. Mm -hmm. And He will do it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? He will do it. Oh, if you won't awesome. remember yeah, anything it. else today, Write it down, circle it, write it on your mirror, do whatever you got to do. Trust in him. Commit Amen. your way to him and trust in him. Amen. Amen. And as the deacons and ministers get Amen. ready to come up, Amen. Please God. you know, we need to stop putting our thinking into things that God is trying to do in our life. Stop trying to figure it out and just trust through the process of it. Amen. 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 You know, I remember when I was when I was pregnant with our kids and waiting for them to get here. And it was that whole process you got to go through, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a long process. You got to wait nine months for that <laughs> child to get here. Mine were longer because my first one, Justin, was two weeks late. Wow, that you want? <laughs> Yeah. All. Yeah. Zach didn't want to get, yeah. Justin was a week late and Zach was two weeks late. So I was pregnant longer. But anyway, you have to trust that process. You may not see 
that blessing right now. You may not see it come to pass in a week or a day or a month or whatever, but keep trusting. Mm -hmm. Keep coming. Keep getting that word in you. Keep talking to God Amen. about those things. Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you, when he starts to know your voice and know who you are, he's going to say, oh, here she comes again. Okay. Asking for that same old thing. No. And I do it every day. Lord, here's my list. <laughs> 1 through 12. Got them right here, Lord. 1 through 12. Talk to him about those. Get intimate with him. Amen. Amen. Tell him, you, God, I am your masterpiece. Mm -hmm. I am a child of the Most High God. Yes. Amen. Tell him. Trust in him. Amen. Amen. Trust in him. And I turn it over to my husband. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. childlike faith, right? I can remember teaching my son to swim, right? And I'll put him on the, on the diving board, he'd get up there on the diving board, and I'm in the middle of the, of the 10 feet, and I'm sitting there waiting water, waiting on him to jump in. And because I was there, his father was there. Because his father was there, mm -hmm. right? It wasn't even a question. He jumped in the water because he knew if he went under, Dad was right there for him. That's right. That's right. It wasn't even a question, it wasn't right. even a second thought. That's right. And he jumped into the pool, <clears throat> with no hesitation, and he floated back up and went on to the side. And I was, I was right there at his side the whole time. Amen. And that's how God is with Amen. us. Amen. 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 You just gotta have that childlike faith. Amen. You know, we know children don't understand everything. Sometimes we think they got brain damage. And so we don't have to understand everything. We just need to trust in them and do it. Don't That's go right. back to your own uh, uh, logic. When you, when you go back to your own logic and, and neglect God's logic, it's going to cause consequences, not from God, from your decisions. That's right. That's right. God is love. Amen. God's not here to uh, hurt you. He's not here to beat you down. God is not mad at you. He's not angry with you. None of that. Why? Because God is love. Yes, love is none of that. Amen? Amen. And so sometimes we do things and, and we cause ourselves consequences that we really don't have to go through. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of a guy in the Bible named Jonah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh? So if you want to hear about that story, be a Bible study. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> we just want you to know that we love you here at Christian Freedom Ministry. Amen, amen. Thank amen. you for coming out today. For amen. those online, we want you to know that we love you and we will not close our services without giving you an opportunity to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Amen. So we're going to ask everyone to please stand. And we're all going to say it together. Amen. 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 And when you pray this prayer, I want you to understand something. You will be saved. Amen. You don't have to do nothing strange. You know, you ain't got to go and climb Mount Nebo. <laughs> you, you ain't got to go to Jerusalem. You don't, you don't have to do none of that. You don't have to speak in tongues to be saved. You don't have to, you don't have to do none of that. Amen. Amen. You ain't got to lay hands on somebody to heal them. <laughs> no. The only thing you have to do is receive Jesus in your heart and, and believe. Amen. So I ask that you would just pray with me as we go through this prayer. Amen. 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 Amen
Father, Father, I open my heart. I open my heart. And ask that Jesus will step in. And ask that Jesus will step in. Take the remains of my life. Take the remains of my life. Make something of them. Make something of them. I surrender all to you right now. I surrender all to you right now. I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. And I confess with my mouth. And I confess with my mouth. That Jesus died. That Jesus died. And rose on the third day. And rose on the third day. I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. And I confess in my mouth. And I confess in my mouth. That Jesus is Lord. That Jesus is Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, you are saved. Amen. Why do you like Bible believing, Bible teaching church? All right. In, in fact, don't, don't find a church. Find a family. That's right. Amen. Find a family who will love you in spite of. doesn't matter what you've done in your life. don't matter what you're going to do. no matter what you're doing. Find a family who loves you because Jesus doesn't. He don't care about what you did, what you're doing, what you're going to do. Only thing he does is love you. Amen. Amen. That's the type of family you want. So we thank you for joining us today. Hey, and remember this by Christian Freedom Ministry. Tell you, our services start on Sundays at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. Sunday school at 945. Mm -hmm. We always say that because we know everybody will be there by 10. Mm -hmm. that's, called, that's called church people time. Stop. All right? Tell church Stop. people, hey, we got to be there at 730. And leave the house at 730. Amen. <laughs> See that? Agreement. I was going to <laughs> We have Bible study on Wednesdays, mm -hmm. all right? Wednesdays at 7.30. Amen. Listen, it is important. I know a lot of people think this, oh, I, I can just go to the services and that's enough. No, it's, it's really not. If you really want to get a close relationship with Jesus, then you need to be in a place where you can get close to him. Right. You have questions. You know, I had a lot of questions for First Lady when we first got together. She had a lot of questions for me. She's still asking me questions. <laughs> And so, it, yeah, right. and so the thing about it is, hey, you got questions. You want to know about this relationship that you have with Jesus. You want you talking about this warranty package? How many of you have grabbed the warranty package and didn't read it? Don't well, raise your hands because I'm going to be embarrassed. <laughs> All right, you know the fine print is where to get you, right? No, no, you read, you read, you learn. Then you, and there's something about the Bible that's different than any other book. The Bible is alive. That's right. Amen. It's alive. Amen? Amen. Amen. And when you can just contain this word in your heart, <laughs> things, I don't care what's going on in your life, things will change. Amen. 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 So find place that's going to love you, that's going to teach you about the love of Christ. Yeah. Remember, Amen. we're on Team Jesus. We're not right. religious. Right. Amen. Amen. We love you here at Christian Freedom Ministries. Um, remember one thing. Hey, who the Son sets free mm -hmm. is free indeed. Stay free. Amen. Amen.